Hey guys, <clears throat> happy Friday, happy Reflection Friday. I am um, a little under the weather, but I'm doing much, much better. And I wanted to um, to talk to you about my reflection for this week. So I um, last week I posted, I think it was last week, I posted a post and it said, just be and do, right? And um, I captioned it with, um, you know, me that morning, just really contemplating some conversations that I needed to have and some things that I wanted to talk about, some people I wanted to reach out to. And I just began to really like second guess, should I do this? Should I make 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 these calls? Should I reach out in this particular way? What should I do? And then my mind just started going about, you know, what if they think this or what if they think that? And like God just straight told me, girl, just be and do. Like we have to stop getting so caught up and what everybody else is thinking or what we think that they're thinking because half the time we don't know, right? It's just all in our mind. There are limitations that we set on ourselves because of our own self-doubt, because of the unknown, because we're afraid, because we're unsure, or even because of maybe past experiences. Like, well, you know, the last time I did this or the last time I called this company to see if they were interested in um, advertising or posting, you know, selling my book or whatever, you know, I got I got a rejection or they weren't feeling it. Or the last time I reached out to um, this young this young lady, uh, they weren't feeling me or whatever, whatever the situation may be um, because of previous um, adverse reactions. We 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 shun back from doing the things that we've been ultimately called to do. Right. And so immediately I was like, oh, snap. OK, I'm doing it. I I'm about to do this. And I don't want to do that because I know that um, I cannot allow the the outside outside perspectives or my imagination of what the outside perspectives are to limit who I am and who I've been called to be and what I've been called to do. Because if I've allowed myself to be worried about everyone's else everyone else's thought or everyone else's um, perspective of me it begins to control who I am and then I begins I begin to adjust based on these um, imaginary uh, ideas or thoughts that I think that other people have of me and here I am conforming and changing and not operating authentically in who I am right and so by no means does that mean that I'm perfect or that we're perfect but what it does mean is that we've chosen to authentically show up as who we are. And if we make a mistake, if, if, if we did it wrong, if we said it wrong, guess what? We'll assess it. We'll learn, we'll, we will learn from it and we'll grow, right? But we can't allow the fear of rejection or the fear of things not working out or the fear of things being tough, right? Because sometimes things are tough, right? Sometimes it doesn't take one phone call. Sometimes it takes two phone calls. Sometimes it takes... Um, a little more activity or a little more intentionality. Sometimes it just takes more. Um, no one ever said that it wasn't going to be a process, right? No one ever said that there wasn't going to be work involved. But the important thing is that we are being, we are doing what we feel called to do. Uh, we are acting on our, our, our authentic self, right? And then we're doing it. We're putting action to it. We're moving. And so it reminded me of... Um, Yesterday for Throwback Thursday, I showed a post that I, I um, I did last year, January last year. Well, this year, the beginning of this year, um, when I first started Tisha Talks, and I was just talking about how I was gonna do stuff afraid. Like I'm tired of being afraid. I'm tired of worrying about what everybody thinks. I'm tired of trying to fit into this cookie cutter box. I'm tired of trying to make everybody else happy. I'm trying. I'm tired of trying to do that. Um, at the expense of my purpose and my call, right? At the expense. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to say that you should not be considerate of people's feelings and considerate of the way that you, um, you know, communicate with people. No, I'm not trying to say that. But what I'm trying to say is when you allow the thoughts that you put on other people, right? Because you don't know what people are thinking. You don't know how they feel. This is all really in your imagination. It's your own self-doubt. It's your own um, insecurities, really. It's your own insecurities that prevent you from stepping out. If you find yourself in that situation, um, you cannot allow that to change 
who you are because God created you uniquely um, and there was something that you were called to do and that only you can do it in the way that you were called to do it. So when I posted that post, just be and do, and then I look back at my um, video from January and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do it and I'm doing it afraid. I might do it wrong, but I'm doing it. And when I look back at then and I look at now, what, like 11 months later, gosh, what, what awesome things have happened in between that span. And I can only attest it to me being willing to step out and be, be who I believe that God called me to be and created me to be, even in that time. And that person in January has evolved and grown to the person that's here now in November and she'll continue to evolve and grow but none of that would have happened if she didn't step out and she didn't do it right and so I just want to encourage you this week that the things that that you are um, being challenged with or the things that you're um, doubting yourself about or the things that you're second guessing but you know are in your heart to do you know you know are in your heart to do but you're afraid or you're feeling insecure or you're unsure about the unknown you know how it's going to be received I encourage you to just step out and do it just be and do just be and just do step out and do it you never know what's going to evolve out of it and um and if it's a part of your call, a part of your purpose, you don't want to allow it to be stagnant. You don't want to limit yourself. You want to be able to be all that you are. And I want you to be all that you are. And as I'm going out there and I'm stepping into what is for me, I want you to step into what is for you too. So guys, I hope that this reflection um, has been helpful and um, that you guys have a great week, a great weekend, and I will talk to you next Friday.